Hello, I'm Howard, pastor of the Roseville New Church, and welcome to Spiritual Shorts. We're wrapping up our November series on marriage, a timely topic given that Australia's peak wedding month is November. So let's dive in. In his work, Conjugal Love, Swedenborg paints a grim picture of true spiritual love in marriages today. He suggests that such a love is rare, almost unknown. Further, he suggests that marriage and spiritual life are clearly linked, so much so that progress in one is progress in the other. This observation holds a mirror to our current societal trends, declining marriage rates and a decrease in church attendance. In Australia, where marriage rates are near all-time lows and divorce rates near all-time highs, weekly church attendance now is only around 8%. It's a stark decrease from past decades. This decline in spirituality and the commitment to marriage may seem disheartening, but it's not the end of the story. You know, despite these challenges, we must remember the resilience of our spiritual journey. Through history's darkest times, the divine has always found a way to maintain humanity's connection with the Lord. To, to paraphrase a favorite Johnny Cash song, we're getting threadbare and wearing thin, but we're in good shape for the shape we're in, because we've been through the fire before, and we can take a whole lot more. Because on our own, we are constantly falling, but the Lord is constantly putting us on our feet again. This resilience and hope are what can keep us moving forward. You know, the new church offers a promising outlook, a revival of true heavenly love. This revival depends on us moving beyond our outdated beliefs, embracing the Lord's second coming, and truly living by the teachings of the word. A heavenly marriage reflects a profound union transcending earthly concepts. In this union, love and wisdom harmonize, creating a bond that's not just earthly, but celestial, heavenly. Now, let's talk about the essence of marriage. In its purest form, marriage is the fusion of two souls, a union of love and wisdom, good and truth, love expressed and manifest by the woman, wisdom expressed and manifest by the man, but both also within each of us. In heaven, this union is so deep that a couple appears at a distance as one. The declining rates of marriage and church attendance shouldn't discourage us. Instead, they should motivate us to pursue a deeper understanding of what love is and what spirituality is. Remember, true marriage isn't just about the physical world. It's a celestial bond that lasts to eternity. We're all on a journey to fulfill our spiritual purpose, to find that divine union, both within ourselves and with our partners. The New Church teaches that even if we don't find our soulmate in this life, the Lord will provide the right partner in the afterlife, ensuring our complete happiness in heaven. So as we wrap up this series, 
Let's carry this message of hope and resilience. Let's commit to nurturing love and wisdom in our lives, for those are the seeds of heavenly joy. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Spiritual Shorts. I hope, unlike the terrible numbers and statistics I gave at the beginning of this talk, that you leave with a sense of uplift, of a positive spiritual future for all of humanity that comes from the very beginning, the very genesis of our connection with the Lord, the marriage of love and wisdom, of good and truth.